You sure are all right carrying all that stuff, XP? I mean, I thought I told you to bring a trolley. I did. It's with the other metal in my rucksack. Well, I meant for you to put all the stuff in the trolley and push it, actually. Why would I want to push my rucksack in a trolley? <laughs> you are silly sometimes, Sarah. Anyway, look, we're nearly there. Sometimes I wonder if me and XP are speaking in the same language. Still, with him being from another planet and everything, I suppose I'm lucky we can communicate at all. He says there's something he wants to show me. I really should catch him up and find out what it is. I'll tell you how it all began. XP had gone to fetch a parcel for me for the recycling project we were doing at school. He took a stroll on the way back and things didn't quite go as he expected. This lot can go here, and this lot can go here. <laughs> Where have you been, XP? You've been ages. Well, uh, it was this box. It, it made me late. I've had some excuses in my time. No, really, while I was walking along, it kept trying to hang on to things as I went past. I had to keep pulling it off. Maybe it didn't want to come here. I wonder why. I think I know what's going on, but if I'm right, then there's been a mistake. Open up the parcel. Oh, all right. What is it? Well, it's the magnet we ordered, except it's the wrong size. We ordered a much smaller one. What's it for? For our school's recycling project. You know, sorting things out so they can be used again. Our group's doing metal, see, and we needed this magnet to help us. See? That's amazing. You know, there's so much more to Earth than I ever realised. Yeah, well, we like it here too, XP. That's why we do things like recycling, so that we don't use up more than we need to. But who makes these magnets for you? Where do they come from? And what makes them work? One thing at a time, XP. I've got to sort out these cans and things, so why don't you go and look it up on the computer? No need, Sarah. Activate smart specs. Scan to inform. Audio on. Activate scan do. Got a problem there with your alien thingamies, XP? Well, they're not working. Probably because you're standing too near to the magnet. They can make things go a bit funny sometimes, you know. I know. I'll go and use the computer. M-A-G... M-A-G, M-A-G. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. N-E-T-S. All about magnets. Making magnets. Electromagnets? Fascinating facts. Hmm. Let's have uh, all about magnets. Well, activate scan do, or access and download. Magnets are special pieces of material that have an invisible force. This force will pull some metals towards the magnet and will pull other magnets towards it or push them away, depending on which end of the magnet is pointing at them. Objects that are attracted to magnets are made from things that have particular metals in them, iron, nickel, or cobalt. 
There are two parts to a magnet, and each one is different from the other. You can see how this is so when you put two magnets together. The two parts that are the same will push away from each other. The two parts that are different will stick to each other. These parts are called the magnet's poles. There are magnets all around us. Things like televisions, stereos, microphones, fridges, and hair dryers all contain magnets. Hmm. Oh, what deactivate scan do? Maybe I should see fascinating facts as well. The Earth behaves as if it had a giant magnet inside it. The poles of the magnet are close to the very top and bottom of the Earth. A magnet shaped like a needle and free to turn will always point north-south. That's how a compass works. The needle of a compass is magnetic. It is attracted to the poles of the Earth. One of the most powerful magnets in everyday use is the kind you see in a car breaker's yard. They can pick up heavy loads of metal and move them easily. Cool. Express minus three, two, one. Express minus three, two, one. I took all my cans down to the community centre to sort out. I was supposed to sort the steel cans from the aluminium ones because they were going to different recycling places. But I wasn't sure how the magnet was going to do it. Now, let's see if I'm right. I think that magnets attract metal. Now, my project book said that this magnet should be able to help me sort out all these cans. But they're all metal. So then, how is the magnet going to be able to tell which is which? Doesn't sound right to me. Oh well, let's try it anyway. Um, let's try this one. Yep, so you can go in here. So can you. They don't all stick. I wonder why. Maybe I could plan an experiment to find out. Yeah, I could do all this lot afterwards. Now, let me see. Oh, no! Not again! <coughs> XP had found a place where they had some really big magnets and had gone over to take a look. Scan to locate. Activated. Scanning. You are at Amptill Metal Company. This is Michael. He is a metal recycler. Hi, uh, I'm XP. I'm from another planet. I gather you've got some really big magnets here. You certainly have. Perhaps you'd like to have a look around. Yeah, great. Grabbers are sorting out all the scrap metal.
This metal car body is going into a machine called a fragmentizer. The fragmentizer chops the car into tiny pieces. The pieces of metal travel along a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt takes them to the shed next door, where there is a special magnet called an electromagnet. The magnet sorts the magnetic metal from the non-magnetic metal and separates them onto two different conveyor belts. Have you got any more electromagnets? We have. If you'd like to pop and see Mick over there on the magnet crane, I'm sure he'll be pleased to show you. Thanks very much, Michael. Thanks very much. Electromagnet. Uh, I can switch electricity on, which makes it magnetic, and I can switch it off again. Um, unlike a normal magnet, which will only pick things up, you can switch this one on and off. You can switch it on to pick up and off to put things down. Can you do that again? Yeah. Smart specs, scan to confirm. Activated. Confirming. Electromagnets are magnets you can turn on and off. When Mick presses the switch, the electric current makes the electromagnet work. When he switches the current off, the electromagnet stops being magnetic. Well, I'd got my experiment all planned. It was to help me find out what stuck to magnets and what didn't. OK, I think these things won't stick and these things will stick. Let's see if I'm right. The wooden spoon wasn't magnetic. Nor was the china saucer. Or the cardboard tube. or the rubber band, or the ball of string. So, I recorded the results of my test, and then tried the ones I thought would be magnetic. But the gold locket wasn't. and neither was the copper bracelet. The steel can was. You can stay for it. And so was the iron horseshoe. But the aluminium can wasn't magnetic. 
So I recorded my results and wondered just what they meant. Just then, XP called me up. XP connecting Sarah. XP connecting Sarah. Connected. Just who I wanted to see. I'm stuck. Well, you should be more careful with the magnet. No, I'm not stuck to the magnet. I'm stuck stuck. You know, when you can't answer a question. What is it? Well, what's the connection between iron and steel? Why do you want to know? Because whatever the connection is has got something to do with magnetism. I know. You could use your smart specs to help. Um, scan over these things and see what it says. Mm-hmm. Activate smart specs. Audio on. Scan to identify. Activated. Scanning iron and steel. Question. Are they connected in some way? Answer. Steel is made from iron. It is made by adding carbon and sometimes other metals to iron. Sarah, they've both got iron in them. Ah, oh, brilliant. That explains it, then. Oh, Flip, I haven't sorted through all these cans. Forgot all about them. They're going to be coming to collect them soon. You couldn't come down and give me a hand, could you? I've got a much better idea. I'll come over and collect everything and show you a quicker way of doing it. So, that's why we're here. It's got something to do with the electromagnet that XP saw earlier. Come on, then. Where is it? They've let me borrow the magnet from the crane. All I have to do is activate it with the scan do, and we'll have your stuff sorted in no time. Oh, wow, brilliant idea. How does it work? It works only when you pass electricity through it. So how do they make magnets that stay magnetic, then? I don't know. Why don't you find out later? Uh, but first, um, tell me, what did you discover? Well, I found out that not all metals are magnetic. But some are. Let's sort yours out. All I have to do is access the scan do and then activate the electromagnet. Here goes. Switch on now. Uh, don't, don't worry, sir. Uh, no problem. I'll just go and uh, get it back. Oh, look out, XP. There's a saying for that on Earth, XP. It's called dropping a clanger. <laughs>